This is an example of how a qubit can be used to express many different numbers that are between zero and one. We have here uh, a description showing theta equals zero. That's the theta angle is this Z axis. That's the angle that it's representing, which is turning around on this point, like these two arrows we're showing. And then the phi axis, which is the x axis. So this is z, and there's an x axis. So if I move this ball, you can see that theta changes this value from zero to different values as phi moves, staying, phi is staying at zero, but phi is now twisting on the x axis twisting through the center and then it will move this vector the red vector all the way down until it is 180 degrees from the zero cat now it is value one cat these values are uh, as it twisted it twisted around this centerpiece which is i mean this centerpiece here excuse me the x-axis. This was what was turning. So um, when you see here, now this is pi. Theta is now valued 3.14, which is pi. And phi equals zero. But a qubit could be anywhere between zero and one on this, um, on this block sphere. So I'd like to show you that again really quickly. Theta equals zero, phi equals zero. It's pointed towards the one zero cat, the North Pole. And then we move it along the X axis until we get to the South Pole. And now the value is one cat and it's now 180 degrees different than the zero cat. Many different values can be included. If we turn this so that we can see more carefully the um, imaginary numbers, which are on the y-axis, we can see those eyes. Then we can see that many imaginary numbers are possible. In, to be included in our calculations. So many different numbers other than just zero and one can be included in a quantum bit, a qubit.